Hey, back again playing around with this little light. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I changed out a couple of components. I changed out the transistors in the uh, in the PWM. Brought them down to a smaller size and I'm using 3904s now. And I've been playing with a different size cap for filtering out of the PWM before you take it to the power rail. And but what I wanted to show you here is a couple of neat things that when you if you tie one of these on to your to your flip flop, the neat thing about it is is because you have control of both your pulse width and your frequency, you can find sweet spots. And I don't mean just the very lowest spot, although I just started experimenting with this, so if I'm wrong, it would seem like um, there are, you know, you can find sweet spots at different frequencies. Now, that's what I've been thinking. I'm not entirely sure, but one of the things that leads me to believe that is that <laughs> when I dialed my... <coughs> my frequency, excuse me, my frequency down quite a bit just now it doesn't necessarily lower your uh, current intake by dropping your pulse width all the way to the bottom obviously you want to back it off but if you back it off too much your current draw actually goes up so I'm running one right now and you can see that my current is very low like like low I don't honestly know what it is I'll do a sort of a, a half moon around here so you can sort of see for yourself I don't know what it is it is low and normally with an inverter there's no way you can do that. Um, my other Canadian tire inverter, uh, I think the minimum was, I forget, it was stupid. It was 180 milliamps. Now, I'm going to venture to say that if I back that off, you see, because there is a, there is a cycle stop on this circuit. So essentially the draw on this circuit when you back the frequency, which becomes your dimmer switch, back to nothing, it literally draws like next to nothing, probably in the low, low milliamps. So yeah, that's a really neat aspect of this, of this setup. And um, because in certain configurations, um, like one of the things I want to eventually do is have this be a digital potentiometer controlled by a pick controller so that lights will dim and, I mean it could all be computerized it could be controlled by the sun it could be controlled by movement motion um, you know only your imagination is uh, going to hold you back there so yeah, that's all there is for now, and I uh, thought I'd add that, inspire a couple of people to, to build. I'm still playing around with this um, this PWM, it's it's just a, a dirty, cheap rip-off of a Chinese PWM, basically. Uh, my buddy helped me put it together, and uh, he did up the board, And but I mean, it's it's really nothing special. But what I want to do is I want to get that off that board. Uh, well, for starters, I want to use that one for, for another project. But secondly, I want to get that, only what's necessary on that board, basically, built in to the flip-flop. So that I can use this flip-flop circuit solely for lighting. Right now, I probably have about 50 watts output on the PWM. Whereas, I don't know, those, those IRF like they're a 500 500 volt 
MOSFET with 14 amps or something. There's a lot of, you know, potential power there, whereas the transformer's also small. And so it would be kind of nice to, um, it would be kind of nice to match stuff up. But there is only literally a couple of dollars worth of parts that I actually bought. Some of those resistors and all of the other components, the, the 555s and the and the voltage comparator and uh well I did buy the, the, the light and the transformer but you know all the other electronics I just scrounged up so that's part of the reason why it's all so so mismatched. But it definitely works, you know, and uh you know give it a shot. You know, I don't know what that is. That's that's not many milliamps. And uh you know to be able to do that and then turn around and actually crank off fifty watts of light at the same time leaves a lot of options. Okay, thanks for watching.